Okay, just to recap, the last session of the morning will approach the subject, how remote work trends will alter the future of real estate. And here to host our panel, we have the head of industry relations for Asia PropTech, Rachel Yun. Amazing. Hello, welcome, Rachel. <laughs> Amazing. And please welcome our panel for the discussion. We have Asset Boss commercial lead, Eric Hoy, co-founder of Flow, Eric Lai. Head of Sales and Operation for the Center Space, Tinny Choi, and Director of Worst Phase Strategy and Change Management at CPRE, Manny Choi. Welcome. Hi, uh, Paris. Uh, let's take a seat. Yeah. Thank you so much, Georgie, for your introduction. So, yeah, um, good, uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, great to see you all in here. So, uh, right now, we have Eric from SS Force, Eric Lai from Flow, Tini from Center Space, and Manu from CBRE. So, um, this panel, we are talking about um, hybrid workforce and remote working trend. And um, we have a panel of com from, from different sectors of real estate. So maybe to start off with, let's just share a bit about like how you think about remote work trend, or maybe do you have any personal experience with remote working? Yeah, maybe Eric and Eric, you can share first. <laughs> hi, uh, hi everyone. Yeah, um, great to be here. Really appreciate the time, Rachel, and uh, thanks for the invite, Asia PropTech. Great office here. I think. Um, from my own personal experience, the, the, the hybrid working trend has definitely um, taken a, a massive acceleration in the, you know, in the, during the COVID area. Um, and for me personally, um, our business actually has um, recalibrated our focus to help um, facilitate this type of uh, uh, hybrid working even more in the future. Uh, for example, we started off our software uh, uh, to solve a, a solution around property management. Now we're actually pivoting towards um, helping more property operators um, being able to uh, facilitate flexible working. So this, this, this change has come about because uh, we are seeing this massive trend, which I believe is here to stay. What about the rest of the panel? Like, do you agree with what Eric said? Maybe from CBRE or maybe some the sense space, which is a co-working space. Like, both of you, like, any thoughts about co-working space or you know, like hybrid workforce? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, with uh, remote working, uh, especially during the uh, pandemic in the next, uh, last two years, uh, we see a lot of uh, clients, corporates, uh, really embracing the uh, the choice, the, the 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 options and the flexibility in terms of giving people their uh, autonomy to choose where and how they want to, to work. So from what I'm seeing in the market, I think uh, remote working, hybrid working, whatever we call it, I think it's definitely here to, uh, to stay. And, and what's really important is that how do we uh, actually have a really efficient, uh, uh, stay as productive as, as we can and also improve in terms of uh, efficiency. Because when people are not here, what do we do with the space? How much space do we need? I think these are all the uh, very big questions. Yeah, totally agree. Um, like I've been in the industry, I mean, co-working industry for a few years already. And compared to a few years ago, people are just looking for space. Like they have 10, 10 team members, they're looking for 10 10, 10, co uh, 10 desk, but now they, are, they have to think carefully about the expansion plan. Even when they're expand, expanding, they foresee themselves like expanding in like a year or two, they're still very reserved. They want to start like small scale and then really see if they can, you know, like they really hire that person and then they will change or upgrade the, the office. So um, they need full flexibility that they can scale down or scale up like no matter when. And also they want to have like a lot of communal space, a hot desk now, even though like they have their own office, they still want to have more space just in case they have an like, extra project office uh, for the hot desk because it's like only one to two months or, you know, like um, shop your time. So they want full flexibility on that too. Understand. But what about Eric Lai? You have been working with a lot of co-working spaces, as I recall. Yeah. So yeah, as, as a marketplace, I, I work a lot with uh, you know co-working space mainly, and and I mean if 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 you ask me, I think that the trend of co-working space is is always there. Mm -hmm. It's just that you know COVID has accelerated this trend, because you know as an, as, a, as a as a as a smart operator or as an owner of a, of an office, you always you know look for ways to uh, maximize your occupancy, right? And then and then flexible booking is definitely one of the ways. 
you know, it's more like, you know, if you have a house, you put it on Airbnb, right? Because you want to make, 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 make money out of those idle days. And, and, and similarly, you know, for co-working space, you can do it, do that, but on a, on a much granular, much more granular basis, which is, you know, hourly, right? So, so that, that's, um, that's definitely the trend. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like that, um, hybrid workforce has really changed how we estate operate. Like we changed the real estate um, office space from our, our daily to hourly or maybe by minute even. So um, I would like to ask Mandy, like you are from CBRE. So I do know that CBRE is um, running hybrid working work mode and a lot of clients has been consulting you guys on how to work this um, special method. So um, I want to hear your thoughts. Like, do you think it's a good trend, like in respect of maybe workers or real estate, like, or maybe from your personal view, like, do you think, do you like it? I think uh, uh, definitely like Eric and Tini have mentioned, it accelerated the uh, remote working, but but I would say uh, remote working has actually been in the, uh, in, in, in the market in the last decade. People have been traveling a lot. It's not about being physically at a desk. So remote working have always been there. It's not something new. But with this, uh, I'd say COVID pandemic really accelerated it and people want to figure out how do we do it? Because we are not seeing, we are not seeing each other in the, in the, in the office. Uh, going back, is it, is, it, is it a good or bad? Is it a trend? I don't think, I don't think it's something trendy. It's, it's not just about a trend, but really how, um, each corporate uh, work as a of, of of basically how they work. It's not about being like anybody else. It's hey, how do our people work? How do our business work? We need a solution that actually works for both uh, the uh, business and also the people. If if you are only if we are only thinking about the business, oh, we could uh, reduce X amount of space. We could do this. We could implement A B C. That that sounds very easy. But how do people be on board of the whole uh, transition and trans transformation? And also a lot of uh, a lot of our clients, a lot of corporates, it's thinking also about. Uh, we talk about uh, work life balance a lot, but I think now it's a, a lot about work life harmony. It's not about when you're at work, you don't do anything else. When you're outside of work, you do nothing about work. It's more like, hey, how do we get the, uh, the, 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 the balance right? How do we provide choice, flexibility, autonomy, while keeping our uh, productivity level uh, uh, as, as high as it, we, we could be or maintaining as how, how we used to be? And uh, having said that, uh, with uh, remote working actually also influences, changes the uh, real estate a lot. Because when people are not in the, in the office, how do we make best use of our space? Uh, is there a lot of empty space? And like Tini had mentioned, how do we respond to changes? If we want to set something up, do we have an, how, 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 how quickly can we do that? Uh, it's uh, kind of an unpredictable, what's going to happen now that we have experienced a uh, uh, pandemic and also COVID. So there are a lot of questions now with uh, figuring out what's, what, what's right, but not, not what's right as a trend, but what's right for each and every uh, corporate. Great, thank you. So when you mentioned like um, how to make a good transition or find how to make a good work-life balance to, be, to help the worker to be productive at the same time, like not feeling stress at the office. So Tini, you are working with like co-working space. So do you think co-working space is the key to help the workers to achieve this sort of hybrid working mode, like uh, which is good for business at the same time for the workers? Yeah, indeed. Like, um it's um, also it's also like I also agree with um, Manny. It's also a company culture. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, companies, for example, like recruitment company. The company culture is like they only have one or two days work in the office. Yeah, so it's more like how they want to embrace the company culture and build their company culture. So co-working space is always part of the the options. So I also actually oversee some of the traditional leasing as well. So when they're considering a new workspace, they would put co-working space on the table as well because um, they never know if they're expanding or even if they choose the traditional space, they still need somewhere very short period of time for the transition during renovation. So yeah, I would say if you say like for the company culture or for the needs, like it's always there, yeah. 
Yeah, so maybe let uh, us know a little bit more about your co-working space. So do you have a lot of change before or after COVID? Like, like many said, like the trend has been there, but what happened after COVID? Or is there any, um, do you witness any need, special need after COVID? Yeah, so especially during COVID or during like this past few years, a lot of investors see, you know, like co-working uh, co space is a, an opportunity, an investment opportunity. So there are a lot of new players in the market. Previously, like when they are looking for space, it's very easy. A desk, prime location, you know, nice service team, and that's it. Or a, t a reception, a, a shared meeting room, and that's it. But now because of a lot of operators in the market, you have to up your game, I would say. Like how you create, um, you know, like great hospitality in your in your co-working space. When the client walk in, they want to feel like they're in the hotel. Yes, we have a barista. It's like actually a standard for a barista. But how can you make your barista extra different? As in, you know, when you're in the phone booth, you can order a coffee just in your phone booth with a QR code. You know, this is something that we can think out of the box to to make sure they feel like, you know, okay, I have to choose this space. Or, it, you know, like it's, it's kind of like gimmick, but it's also some, some, some tips to how to attract or retain clients. It, it's not like, okay, they would, because you have a QR code, they would choose your space. But this is how you retain the clients, how to make yourself different. Or you already, you already incorporate some apps or technology to make them working smoothly. Like many said, like nowadays, like they have like a lot of hy hybrid uh, workspace. Like if we already have a, a, an app that enable them to book the space easily, enable the staff to book the hot desk within the office easily, that makes their life easier and already think of a solution for them. So that makes a difference as well. Great. So you talk about like we definitely have more co-working space happening in the market, more uh, operators, and we need to up their game. So uh, Eric and Eric, I know that you guys are working on technology that's specifically on flex space. So let us know what do you see, like um, any opportunities, investment, any special need, like what you guys have been working on specifically. Yeah, sure. So I um I would uh, usually when when I when we, when we, when I talk to co-working spaces, I, I usually like to you know, understand what kind of users they want to target, right? Because and because to me, I think for co-working 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 space users, there are mainly two types, right? One one, one type is the traditional corporate who wanna, for example, uh, offer this flexible uh, co-working uh, solution to their employees when they travel, you know, uh, travel in the city for meetings. You know, that, that's one, one type. And the other type is uh, really individual users, like, you know, freelancers, like slash people, which is definitely the trend because, you know, the younger pe generation prefer, you know, having multiple jobs, you know, uh, at the same time, right? So, so that's another type of, of, uh, of, uh, of users. And, 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 and for a co-working space to successfully, you know, uh, maximize the occupancy, you know, let alone the, the long stay or the, the fixed, fixed lease, to target these users, they have to really, um, uh, uh, you know, make make sure their position is, is clear, right? If you are like like a very high end uh, co working space, you know, like like what Tini is, is working on, then you definitely want to want to attract more corporates, right? So in that sense, you you need to be sure that you can create a, a good ambience. You know, you can make sure that um, 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 you, uh, though those like the staff is they feel like they're working in a corporate. You know, uh, you know, uh, apart from the benefits from the flexibility, but for for the for the freelancers for the slash people, they they, they you know they're not necessarily, you know, uh, hanging hanging out all the time in central area, but they they might be needing a space in in Tumun, you know, or in in uh, in Chunwan, you know, for 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 meetings, right? Because you know, the freelancers they they're not they're not always in the prime locations, right? So you so so in that way, you you also have to be sure about. You know what what location your co-working space is. You know in order to attract what types of users. So that that's something that I, I usually you know analyze when I when I when I onboard a new co-working space to my platform. So so that's how um how how I think co-working space is, is is trying to tackle right now. Yeah. So I think I think for us um, as a as a software development company, we're um, where 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 we are contributing to this is. Um, trying to make the whole process more efficient, right? The place of technology has always been to, to make human beings uh, more lazy, right? Um, you can afford to do less. And, and, and this makes a lot of sense in the, in the flexible um, leasing space because uh, for, for Tini to, to start to facilitate or, or lease out these flexible 
um, hot desk and meeting rooms. Uh, for her, the, the manual labor increases, right? The, 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 the cost of managing um, such a short-term rental is, is, is not really um, sustainable if you don't have technology, right? So for us, the focus is um, how do we help these operators offer this type of flexible working to uh, meet the demand, right? There's a lot of companies out there um, or there's people like, like Eric here, Flo, who drives the demand for this kind of co-working space. But for us, um, our focus is making sure that the supply side can meet these demand. And to do that without incurring extra, extra costs for Tini to, to manage this space. So um, I guess for us, the first thing when we started kind of like looking at this space was what are the current pain points with people booking on demand side platforms of these marketplaces? Um, how are they communicating with the operators? Are they emailing the operators to, to confirm if there's a space available? Um, and, and how does you know, the marketplace um, make sure that they can you know, guarantee a space for their customers? These kind of pain points are things that we could you know, immediately saw an opportunity to automate. So in the world where we can install our software into the, into the operator, they won't have to have a manual um, or a person to confirm any bookings from the demand side. So I think technology is here to make, make sure that uh, we can move forward to disrupt the way that traditional real estate works with long-term leasing um, and, and for the operators to maintain that profit margin. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, um, I think of the four of you guys all have shared your field on what uh, do you think the co-working space and hybrid blockchain is happening. So um, I think um, for this, uh, the next question is more open-ended. I would like to know like your vision for the future of real estate. So many talk about like um, what are we going to do with all the vacant offices? And I do know that a lot of um, big corporates from the US are actually shrinking their office because their workers are basically refusing to going back to the office. And um, a lot of millennials um, actually, uh, like, um, the salary is not their priorities, but actually the work from home choice. So um, well, we are, we're actually sitting right at the JL office, but do you think maybe in 20 years or 30 years later, but we will still have this place? Or um, from Quoking's perspective, like, do you think um, is yours going to be the major trend like in the next few years. So um, paints at the, the picture of like how you feel the future of real estate. Yeah, maybe uh, Maggie and Tini, you guys can start first. Yeah, I think, I think uh, 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 definitely in terms of uh, real estate portfolio footprint wise, there will be uh, a reduction, I would say definitely, because you won't let Tini said with 10 staff, you wouldn't have 10 desks nowadays. But we are not only thinking about desks now with people working in the office. So is that going to be a drastic, like, oh, only 50% of people coming in, we only provide 50 desks? Maybe, but there are so many other amenities, facilities that we need to also bring back into the workplace. Work is, uh, workplace is not only about being in front of a laptop, being in front of a computer. Uh, a lot of our clients are thinking about how do we bring in wellness and uh, uh, that people have and enjoy uh, at home back into the space. So is it only about, hey, we're reducing space because people are not coming in? Yes and no, yes and no, I would say. But how do we strike a balance between uh, supporting the work and supporting people's uh, uh, health and health and, and wellness and, and, and features? But uh, I also see that uh, uh, there is uh, a, a big uh, maybe uh, pain point gaps, like Eric had mentioned, especially in the workplace. Maybe maybe Tini Tini will also uh, could relate. It's a, it's about the, uh, the 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 culture the culture and pe how people interact with it, each other. I think uh, to a certain extent, uh, remote working uh, works because you know the people already. But what happens to people who are new joiners to the company? How do people interact uh, with each other? How do we build the culture? How do we uh, sustain the, uh, the, 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 the collaboration, I would say, within a team, within a company? That, that, that is one of the, the, the very big questions. Uh, just a very real life example is we're here, people online, how do we carry out a really 
effective conversation, discussion with people being physically together and virtually together. I think that, that that's one of the very key point in terms of technology that our clients are looking looking into. Uh, there are some fundamentals, technologies, team, Zoom, everything else. It's, it's kind of like a no-brainer, but how do we bring a, a second layer of that uh, technology into the workplace, into the human kind of uh, interaction? I think that will be the next uh, trend big questions in, term, in terms of uh, remote working, hybrid working, and not being physically in the office. Yeah, I agree. Um, I guess like for if you have a vision, uh, 20 years or 10 to 20 years, like how we can incorporate a, a space that, like many said, how to bring what they enjoy from 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 home to work, and that's a lot of clients would will be interested in, I'm sure. Like, um, especially you know, like for in, uh, like nowadays we're talking about sustainability, wellness. How can we build an ecosystem? And I see the trend of co-working as well. It's not just a space now, like. A lot of co-working space have a whole building with the restaurants, like home care, you know, how they can work from home while having the kids, you know, next door. I mean, work in the office while having the ki get kids next door. And you can, you know, like how can you bring in, you know, like more facilities in within your co-working space? I think this is the, the, the new trend is in the ecosystem to bring in more facilities or, or, and also like um, to input more technology, I would say. Just now, like with the previous panel uh, about the Metaport, like um, not just like, uh, maybe we will implement like AR in, in, in the space that they can join the, 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 the or VR in, even, like they can join the meeting in the office while having some of them, they're working remotely as well. So. I, I guess like for the future, like technology and, and ecosystem is very important in the upcoming co-working industry. Yeah, I, I, I uh, in general agree with, you know, what uh, Manny and Tini said about, you know, the trend. And, and, and for me to add on, I think, because um, like from, from my observations, you know, before COVID, there, there, there were already more and more and more companies adopting co-working space as their like main office because of the flexibility and because of the startup scene this company is, is was growing and 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 now actually after covid what was was been helpful is um i, I would say there is a structural change in how 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 uh, especially smes work uh, uh in terms of the culture like after covid like um everybody is uh have been more used to uh working online right you, you you're more adopt adopt to uh, uh adopted to uh, uh, collaboration tools, you know, like Slack, you know, like 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 um, 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 Jira, you know, you name it, and 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 that 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 and that that has happened, and that that won't go away, even though COVID COVID will be going away, right? Because your your workforce, the workforce is already uh, used to this kind of uh, kind of working mode, and 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 so that that's that's um, that will make them make the newcomers or make more SMEs um, uh, easily accepting this kind of uh, co-working space and 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 obviously remote working is uh is, is getting more accepted so in that way uh, uh uh the employers right the employers are are more okay not seeing the employees every day during the weekday right so in that sense so why would they need a fixed co fixed office anymore right and then and then and and then it will it will go 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 goes to uh, will go to the question about you know cutting 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 costs so that that would actually uh, uh that would be about you know adopting co-working space as a as a workspace solution. So 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 you know I, I'm seeing like a cycle you know happening, and and that is uh, which is uh, accelerated by the by the COVID, and 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 I would say for me I think the the, the ideal state for this industry is that a, a more big corporates will will be uh will be having co-working space more as a benefit for the empl for empl employees. I'm not, I, I don't think like more big corporates will, will fully adopt co-working space because they have a lot of employees, right? It's hard for them to fully adopt this. But I would say they, they will, more more of them will take it as a benefit. For example, insurance companies, maybe they, they would prefer, you know, their, their sales agents to have to have meetings at co-working space instead of Starbucks all the time because it's more, it's more it's quiet and it's more professional environment for them to meet clients. You know, that, that, that kind of needs will happen. Uh, will be will be identified by big corporates, and the middle and the middle one is the startups. For startups, you know, for SMEs, they 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 are more uh they are in a better position to really fully adopt uh, co-working space because of you know fewer uh, a lower number of employees 
you know, in general. So that that would be a more 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 I would more a bigger market for co-working space. And 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 the last one is the the freelancers that I mentioned, the, the slash people, and they they obviously that the demand is more erratic, but the number of people, the number of the target audience is much bigger, uh, you know, compared with the other, you know, with the, with the pre- former two. So so I would say these will will form uh, how the co-working space industry will look in the future. Yeah, so I, I think I think the vision uh, the vision um, what I think the future will look like is um, like what Tini said uh, these days when people go into the co working space expect the, the the hotel service right what I'm seeing is that the the traditional looking the, the furnishing of a co- of a, of an office is going to slightly move into more of a hotel looking place right. So I'm saying that the lines between like looking at working in a very co-working or sorry office looking place to what 10 years later you might be coming in and there'd be another lounge here or even something that you can fold out and have a, have a nap, right? I think yeah, that's that's the that's a dream. I, I think the the reality is um, we are more thinking about making it comfortable, motivating the the people um, in the environment rather than making this like a cold environment for people to, to just do work, right? Um, and even with our sort of company vision is, we envision that any space can be used for working. It doesn't have to be an office. It could be a hotel converted to a working place. It could be, you know, it could be a cafe, you know, where there's two hours of downtime after lunch and there's a, there's a period where it's quiet and someone can sit there and do some work. So I think the uh, the fundamentally um, the the real estate should be more dynamic. The space should be more dynamic to to be able to say within quite a short time turn this room into um, a more uh, you know hosp- hospitable kind of air zone. All right, um, and really when you're thinking about someone coming in and doing some work, all they need is a laptop and and you know some Good, good lighting and, and a desk, right? So these things can be arranged fairly, fairly quickly. It doesn't have to have a permanent desk there which weighs 50 kilograms and then you can't move it. I think a space should be more dynamic. And I think um, I could go to Bali for a holiday, suddenly I need a meeting and then I could easily book online. I want a room and a laptop organized for me when I arrive. I, wouldn't, I shouldn't even need to have my own laptop with me. Right, so these kind of things is, I think, where technology can can assemble these different things in order to enable someone to do work anywhere, anytime. Yeah, thank you so much for your panel, like your insights. Well, I mean, I'm also myself is also a hybrid worker. I enjoy working from home with my dogs, and as well as like visiting a lot of co-working space, which a lot of different cultures and what Eric said, a lot of different amenities. So. Um, yeah, I, I do hope that the future of real estate will be as good as we mentioned, with a lot of like wellness and uh, happiness around the office, not just some sort of cubic um, with the well, past era. So yeah, um, thank you so much for your time. And um, right now I'll pass the time to Georgie. Thank you very much to Rachel, Eric, Eric, Tinny and Manny. If you would please stand for our photograph. Thank you so very much.